In today's video, we will learn five text effects. For the first text effect, I have imported my video in CapCut, I dragged it to the timeline and now it's time to add my text. I will type my text, then I'll adjust the font size and everything I need to change like color. I'm done with this part then I'll click on the animation tab loop scroll down and select rotate you can change the speed for the text with this slider I will slow it down a little bit then adjust the place you can easily adjust the place by dragging in the next step, I should duplicate my main clip, right click, copy, right click, paste. For the duplicated clip, I need to remove the background. The background is removed, let me show you. Now I should move forward and once I bend, I will cut the clip and then for the front part this part i will go to the mask tab and select the circle one now another thing i need to do is to put this part of the video on top and change the layer order let's check it from the beginning great now the only thing is left is to change the speed of the text once I push it so right at this point when my hand reaches the text I'll cut the text then again go to the animation tab loop and for the rotate animation I will speed it up let's check it for the last time For the second text effect, again I have imported my video in CapCut, I'll drag it to the timeline. I need to cut the first part of my video. I'll click on the text tab and add my text to the timeline. Type it. Adjust the font and size. What is really necessary in this part is to change the color of your text to green. First of all, I will go ahead and add an animation in for my text. I'll select wipe right. To make it more attractive while my main clip is rotating i want my clip to rotate and also i need to adjust the rotation with the main clip scroll down and here in the plane rotation by adding keyframe rotate your text I'll add another keyframe and rotate it. Let's see if the text and the clip are aligned. Export this clip. I opened a new project in CapCut. I have imported the clip we made in the last step. 
add the other footage. I'll go ahead and add my footage into the timeline. And then I will add the clip we made before. I move forward and here for this clip I should go to the remove background tab then chroma key and with this color picker I should pick the green color great now at some point here now what I need to do is to scale up my text to see the footage in the background in the full screen I move forward and here in the scale position I'll add a keyframe again I'll move forward add the second keyframe again move forward add another keyframe the last keyframe and here the number so that now we can fully see the footage for this revealing text effect I imported my video in CapCut I'll drag it to the timeline then I need to add my text drag it extend the duration and type your text adjust the font and size and color if you like a bit smaller and I put the text here make sure when you bend your head here goes completely under the text like mine the size and place is okay i need to export this clip i opened a new project in CapCut, and again i imported my raw clip and the clip we made in the last step now i'll go ahead and drag them into the timeline make sure the clip with the text is in the top layer and then for this clip with the text i will go to the mask tab and select mirror change the angle and let me zoom it in a little bit okay now i would go ahead right at the point i raised my hand i will cut this clip and remove the back part then again for the clip with the text try to widen the mask by adding keyframes so first keyframe here move forward the second one here let's see the result now exactly at the point I bend I will select the main clip cut it and then duplicate the front part right click copy right click paste I should put it on the top and remove the background for it the background has been removed for this layer see now let's see the result this is the final one for the force text effect i should first import a plain white image i'll drag it to the timeline then i'll go to the text tab and add my text I'll extend the duration a little bit, like around 25 seconds. 
again extend the text layer to the very end now i should type my text first i will change the color to black so you can see it and yes adjust the size and font for it i'm fine with the font size and everything at the end i will export it i opened a new project in CapCut and i imported my main clip and the clip we made together in the last step now i'll drag the main clip to the timeline then the second one in the first layer cut the extra part then i will scale it up so it would be full screen now for this clip in the basic tab i will scroll down and in the blend section change the mode to brighten now again for the same clip paris i will move forward and after a while like a few seconds select the clip and cut it for the front part, this part, go to the mask tab, select horizontal, add keyframe, again move forward, add another keyframe and drag the mask line up. Let's check the results so far. I will duplicate the front part, this part. And paste now for this one I will remove the second keyframe I will reverse the mask now again move forward and right here at the second keyframe for the previous layer add another keyframe and drag the mask line Let's check the final result. Type your text in notes. Make sure your phone is on the light mode. Screen record while you are marking off the items one by one. For the last text effect, I have imported my main clip and my screen record. I dragged my main clip to the timeline, then I will go ahead and drag the screen record. First, I need to change the mode for my screen record. In the basic tab, I will scroll down. In the blend section, I will change the mode to multiply and adjust the place for it. Let me show you what I mean. Here, I have five items, so I will need five copies. This is my first one. I will put it aside for now and I will work on the first one. Okay, this is my title. Right click on it, edit, and then crop ratio. Crop it. Great. And put it there. Again for the Next one, I will right click, edit, crop ratio, now I will put it right next to my finger, again I duplicate this layer, and do the same for the third, fourth, and fifth side. Another trick you need to know, for instance, for the second item, I will tap it, but after a while, it will be marked. 
because the speed of my hand and the speed of screen record are not seen. To sort it out, what I will do is to play with the speed of my video. For instance, here I will cut the video for this one. I am working on this layer. Make it shorter. And let's see. See? Now exactly once I tap it, it marks. Alright, so far I adjusted the place and the speed for all the items. Let me show you very quickly. Perfect. Now the only thing I need to do is to make a duplicate of my main clip. Put it on the top. Select it. Go to the remove background tab. Custom remove wall and brush my hand. 